For easy understanding, let us look at the cross section of the T LUTs tower. There are two chambers usually constructed with concentric cylinders. The top is sealed leaving a gap between the walls of the container. The bottom of the outer cylinder has larger holes which serve as air inlet. The inner cylinder has holes on the top and comparatively smaller than the holes in the bottom. The air passes through the larger holes either through the draft or by the aid of small fans if required. This air will exit through the top hole and aid in the combustion of the biomass that is put in the inner cylinder as a fuel. As the fuel burns, pyrolysis occurs in the layers underneath it and results in the formation of wood gas which is released through the bottom holes. This gas then mixes up with the air and is carried forward to the fire and supports further burning of the fuel. The cycle continues till all of the wood is charred and then we can sprinkle some water on the top and prevent further combustion. At this stage, the residual material left behind is the biochar. 